Hey guys, today we're working on 2011 Toyota Camry. We'll be replacing a front fog light, the bulb, and uh, we're using a three ton jack, a couple of winter tires with uh, wood blocks, and a couple of uh, interlocking uh, stones. The interlocking stones go behind the vehicle to protect it from rolling back right underneath the tires. The winter tires go in on the front of the vehicle with the wooden blocks to support the weight of the car in case the jack will uh, try to place some gates with us. And we're doing it to avoid taking off the tires and coming through the front of the vehicle. We're gonna go underneath and uh, do a proper checkup on the wiring, making sure the wire is not damaged and uh, insulating them from uh, any future water damage. So next video to go. All right, guys, that's what we're working with. This is the fog light. This is the connection on the inside under the bumper. We did remove the protection to have access underneath the vehicle, which is the cover is right here. We have a jack holding up the front of the vehicle. We have access to underneath to all the connections. And we're looking for this fog light, which is not working. We'll be disconnecting it. I'll be checking the connections, seeing what's wrong with it. All right, guys, this is the bulb. The bulb is fine. It doesn't look burnt. It looks in a good condition, but it might be the connector. Either the connector or the wiring is damaged. So in order to remove the light bulb, we will need to hold the finger on this spot right here, which is a pressure point that will release the light bulb. You press on it and then you pull the light bulb. I'll try to do it while I'm holding the camera. Hold on. Let's see what I can do. No, it doesn't look like that, but okay. Basically, you press on this and then you pull the light bulb out. All right, after inspecting the connector, we can see that there is a gap between the connection and isolation which will probably get access to moist and water into the inside of the connector and if we look on the inside we can see a little bit of rust on the connections that might be preventing us from getting a good signal and the light sometimes works sometimes doesn't so let's take a look what we can do with the connections maybe we can just clean them up and uh, not sure what I'm gonna do maybe put some WD-40 we'll see maybe clean up the connections and then just insulate outside if it will not work we'll probably have to replace the whole connector just to make sure it doesn't happen again all right guys we removed the bulb this is the bulb this is the connector we did remove the bulb and use some WD-40 to clean up the contacts. Remove old tape, which is electrical tape. We're gonna put a new tape. We did can uh, re re uh, we did re I don't know how you say it. Not rewire, but uh, retaped the previous uh, top connection wiring. And now we'll be looking to retaping the bottom connection, which is the connection between the actual bulb connector and the rest of the wiring. It's a little bit exposed, so we don't know how sealed it is. The connector itself is a little bit old and a little piece was broken before. So we'll try to reseal everything here as well. I'm going to test the bulb first to see if it's working. And if it's working, we're gonna just reseal everything and install it back. All right, guys, we re-insulated the connectors. We have checked if the light bulb is working before re-insulating the connectors. We sealed the whole connector on both ends, as well as we removed this little clip that's holding the wire to give more room to play. And we installed the bulb 
They're completely sealed connectors, so there's no access to the bulb unless you have to remove the whole thing again first and then take the tape off. So the bulb is LED, so we expect it to survive for a while. This is all sealed. We'll continue sealing this area here just to make sure that this seal is not leaking water. If there's any water coming in here, they will not get into the connector or in a bulb. We have sealed this area right here, which is the rubber cover for the electrical wires to protect it from being damaged. There was a little gap between the connector and the rubber, so we sealed that. And we resealed another one, another connector between the thick rubber and the actual, uh, I don't know what type of rubber is this, but that's another way to protect the wires, is a tube like this, which is a continuous tube. And this is a soft tube that makes uh, that gives us an opportunity to bend the wire easily without damaging it. Well, this tube is a little bit more sturdy, so putting back this connector. But before doing this, we're gonna retest the bulb just to make sure that after installing it, it is on, it doesn't have any flickering problems or any connector problems. I'm gonna reseal this area and we're gonna reseal and we're gonna reinstall this point right here. 